President Volodymyr Zelensky of Ukraine made a surprise visit to the United Kingdom last week. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak gave Zelensky a warm welcome in London before he went on to France and Belgium to meet with other EU leaders. The UK is among the top countries in providing support to Ukraine, second only to the US. The UK was among the first countries to promise to supply military tanks to Ukraine. That's why we did it. The Minister of State for the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office was in Thailand last week, and she told Thai PBS World how the UK has been committed in its support of Ukraine. The UK has been clear right from the beginning uh, when Boris Johnson was Prime Minister and now under Prime Minister Sunak that the UK will stand firmly alongside the Ukraine for as long as they ask for and need support to get their country uh, back and to provide uh, whatever we can, both obviously in uh, defence, uh, military equipment. We are helping to train many Ukrainian soldiers now uh, in the UK and we are also having uh, about 150,000 uh, refugees, mostly mothers with their children, in uh, staying with families across the UK to support them. So we will continue to support in every way that we can and we will continue uh, to try and make sure that the uh, whole world is standing alongside Ukraine. It's nearly one year anniversary of Russian invasion of Ukraine. Has this war become and support of the UK has become main mission of your foreign policy? Uh, it is uh, an absolutely uh, critically important part of what we are doing in supporting Ukraine, but it is only one part of, of the UK's foreign policy. We look globally, we work uh, across you know, all continents, supporting and working with friends and allies around the world. But obviously this is a uh, critical and urgent uh, crisis going on, this illegal invasion of a European country, one of our friends and neighbours. Uh, so it is uh, obviously uh, giving uh, the UK government a lot of... Uh, time and effort to focus on how we can support them. But we are working uh, across the world, obviously with our uh, NATO allies focused on Ukraine, but elsewhere our Indo-Pacific uh, work continues to grow as the UK uh, wants to build and strengthen our relationships here in this part of the world, uh, because that's so important to the peace and stability and the future prosperity uh, of this region and therefore the whole world's economics. On the global state, the UK is a member of NATO, the G7 and the G20, but with security and economic challenges internationally, the UK is aiming to strengthen relations with this region and adapt its foreign policy in a so-called Indo-Pacific tilt. What's the role of UK in Thailand as far as you can see and how do you like to position Thailand in Indo-Pacific strategy of the UK? We have a thriving uh, trading relationship, five billion pounds of bilateral trade between the UK and Thailand. This is a really, really strong uh, economic partnership, but we have many, many uh, UK citizens who uh, both, well, before COVID, a million uh, tourists a year coming to Thailand, uh, many who have uh, chosen to come and live in Thailand in retirement. This is a, a country that is a, you know, a really, really close friend uh, of the UK's. And uh, as we uh, continue with our Indo-Pacific uh, focus building those relationships, growing our trade relationships, working together and with ASEAN uh, on those challenges that the region faces uh, is what uh, the UK wants to continue to do and to grow. And Thailand is absolutely critical to those uh, both aspirations and the opportunity I think we can achieve together. For more than two years, the Myanmar crisis has been high on ASEAN's agenda. So far, the UK has taken a hardline stance, especially at the UN. Nevertheless, the UK has also emphasized its support for ASEAN and Thailand in dealing with Myanmar. And what do you see the role of Thailand in terms of dealing with Myanmar crisis? So, uh, of course, Thailand has this very long, nearly two and a half thousand kilometer border with uh, Myanmar, their neighbor. Uh, and, you know, as so often with uh, you know, neighbouring countries, the support and the relationships are strong and deep. I think we are all uh, shocked by the violence uh, that we are seeing in Myanmar and we all want to help uh, to ease some of the humanitarian crisis, you know, most urgently to make sure that, uh, you know, food and medicines can reach those who need it. Um, and we will support the uh, ASEAN uh, 
family as they come together and try and find a solution for their, uh, you know, ASEAN member state who is in this state of crisis. Uh, we want to work alongside all of, all of the ASEAN countries uh, to help uh, support in any we can uh, for a peaceful solution. And I know that Thailand is at the heart of those discussions within ASEAN. In the region, how do you plan to deal with China? Because on the one hand, you need to cooperate with China. But on the other hand, China must be in competition with the UK as well. So China is a, a really important uh, trading partner uh, you know, for all of us. It's you know, one of the major economies of the world. And that's important. But as our Prime Minister Sunak set out uh, in a speech just before Christmas, we do, uh, don't underestimate that China is a systemic challenge. Uh, for us in areas of national security, there are issues that we uh, need to tackle and we want to work uh, uh, closely with friends and allies around the world to make sure that we continue to restate very clearly uh, what we consider to be our values, the importance of free and fair trade for countries to be able to uh, be free of coercion and uh, you know, get on with their lives without uh, being pressured. So we will continue to work very closely, I know, with China on issues particularly also like climate change, where these are not about country-to-country -country relationships, but how we work together to help much bigger uh, problems be solved. Those are important relationships we continue to drive. And as China opens up again, of course, post-COVID, uh, I hope to have the opportunity to visit later in the year to be able to talk with uh, my counterparts about some of those global concerns and challenges that we all need to face and uh, try and solve together. The UK, a close ally of the US, is aiming the Indo-Pacific tilt at encouraging more cooperation in trade and security, while China is a major and growing economic power in this region and at the global level. With intense competition among major players in the region, Thailand can probably take these challenges as opportunities in a balancing game in the Indo-Pacific region. Natha Komonwadin reporting for Thai PBS World.